up, y'all? It's your girl ZZ back with another mother loving vid. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on my notifications bell, get a joint, thumbs up, share this mug. All right, all right, all right. You feel me? So, uh, before I get into the video, I just want to say, excuse my voice if I sound a little congested or stuffy. Girl, I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I do know what's going on. It's my allergies. I think it's the pollen outside, weather changing, things like that. So my nose has been running and been stuffy. It was egregious. So yeah, if I sound a little stuffy, uh, it, please excuse me. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Today's video is going to be a short reaction, okay? Because this video is just a clip um, of an interview of Kodak Black's ex-girlfriend, okay? She's speaking on Lotto, who is a rapper. If y'all don't know who she is, she's a female rapper. And she was on Big Boy uh, not too long ago. She did a rap. She did an interview on Big Boy, and she was talking about how she deals with male rappers. And one in particular, which she didn't release the name of, people were suspecting that it's Kodak. Eh, 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 we don't know, whatever. She was saying that the male rapper who she was dealing with was basically trying to get her to give him sexual favor, favors or something like something to that effect in exchange to clear the verse that he did for her. This interviewer is asking uh, Kodak Black's ex-girlfriend about what her thoughts on it is. So let's just uh, see what she has to say about it. She said something on the Big Boy interview and she made a comment about, you know, trying to get a record from someone, people trying to exchange sexual favors. We think differently about the industry with that out there that's just life period that's any industry from the world <laughs> you feel me make the world go around so like and it's also the way you talk as a female you gotta you know if you know you sexy don't show up to no studio meeting with no your titties out he not gay he looking at you like damn you mad sexy your titties in my face like you know you only with a, put a jacket on just accordingly don't tempt no like, I don't think it's know, tempting, it's, it's though. Shouldn't you be free to, to come yeah, as you but are? you gotta understand you're sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna come teasy. It's like, yeah, about this song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but I'm gonna come humbly. I think there's some sense of professionalism, on, right? But if I want a certain reaction out of somebody, I'm going to come a certain way. Yeah, so, um, let me just say this off rip. Sis, I mean, I, I, I feel what you're saying, actually. I actually agree with what she's saying, but I, I will say it's a, just a tad bit hypocritical because what you got on ain't, ain't, ain't the most conservative, ain't the most modest. You know, I'm not trying to say she was trying to get some out of this interview or anything. You know, maybe that's how she dressed, whatever the case may be. Maybe she still feels like that way, and, you know, she still, that's, you know, that's how she dressed, whatever. But uh, yeah, it is. It's a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit off. You know, hearing you say that, and that's what you got on. I'm just saying, it's a little gross. Whatever. On the surface level, what she's saying, I completely agree with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, men are visual creatures. Like we're not going to sit here. We shouldn't sit here and ignore the nature of men. Of course, especially with black people, black Americans, we you know gynocentric. You know, community matriarchy, all this other jazz. I talk about plenty of my videos, but it's so we do tend to ignore. You know, or Put on a on a put on a secondary level, you know. Put on a back burner, should I say, the needs and the nature, the the wants of of men. This is something I know, especially as Black Americans, most of us grow up hearing is, especially when we get to our adolescent ages. You know, make sure your skirt not too short. Make sure your your chest not out. Make sure you you got a jacket on. Make sure your clothes not too tight. Like that stuff, especially when you hit 14, 15, you start to hear that more often from your mother, your aunts, your grandmothers, because they know. <laughs> How men are. They understand the nature of men. Like, regardless of, it's, oh, Lord, especially in this whole, with this westernized, in America specifically, all these women being on this feminist BS, I can wear what I want. I can, uh, see poppin' music empowers me. Remember I did that rant not too long ago about Sukiana and the whole WAP thing? Like, you know, we can live in this fantasy. Like, we can do what we want and we can be on the same level as men and where we want and do what we want and get the same outcomes as men when that's just, it's just not reality. You can live in that if you want to and then end up looking like Lotto where it's like, I can't believe, you know, and this is not to say that Lotto uh, was where, I don't, I don't look into celebrity gossip, whatever. I don't know what she was wearing when she went to that man, but I will say. This is they say this for no damn reason. You know what I'm saying? She was with this man Kodak. So I, I, for this to be her first instinct answer, I doubt I know what she was saying was too far fetched from what Lotto, and this is, you know, whatever. I'm not getting into it, but she ain't saying it for no damn reason. No, I'm saying. But, anyways, we can sit here and act like we can live in this fantasy that, oh, we can do what we want and live as men, okay, and, and not get the same, same outcomes, or we should get the same outcomes as them. But that's just not the reality. It's just not. Sister says in a video, oh, you know, see, where's the world? You know, the giant women run the world, whatever the case may be. Let's just be honest, men run the world. Men run the world, literally, white men. 
literally system of white supremacy. We ain't got to get into it. But men, period, run this mug. Like, are we being serious? So when you go to, even if it's not just male rappers, when you go to execs, when you go to producers, when you go to higher ups, the higher up in the, in, damn near any industry you go to, there's going to be a man. So you have to understand as a woman, your disposition. If, you're, if your real intentions is to do business with this man, you should be going into that meeting as conservative as possible, especially with the industry you're in. This sister says that it doesn't matter what industry, but I would say even more specifically in this industry because you know what type of men, or you should know what type of men you're dealing with. It's not a music industry. These are probably, matter of fact, music entertainment, period. Okay, these are probably the least sexually disciplined men you're going to deal with. That's because they have women throwing themselves at them, especially when you're talking about male rappers. Hello. Just look at the lineup of baby mothers a lot of them have. So a lot of them can get to a sort of, you know, uh, get on a lower vibration, you know, where they don't feel, where they don't feel the need to be sexually disciplined. They're not around women who, who don't mind that, who are willing to just give it up to get a deal or give it up to get in a video or give it up to be one of their baby mothers and get a check. They will get in this mindset where they're like, okay, you know, it's kind of like it's a part of the deal. Like, it's like, girl, you should know. Like, you ain't know what's up. This is duh. Like, duh, this is duh, you were supposed to do this for me. That doesn't make it right. I'm not saying that that is the proper thing to do. If you're talking about business, the sexual favor should be should not be on the table, period, because this is business. But again, we do have to understand the industry. We have to understand reality. But she knows this. There's no way she doesn't know this. You know what I'm saying? You've been in the game for too long at this point for you to not realize that, especially within the industry you're in, that that is going to be a motivating factor for some of the men you interact with. As women, come on, are we going to sit here and act like that's just not a privilege of ours? Like, that's the part of the femininity anyways, is that we know that we can put on a, a nice fitting dress, we could do our hair, do our makeup, and go in the room and talk softly. Hey, how you doing? Da -da -da -da. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm you know, and use that pers to persuade men to get what we want. That's a privilege that we have. Men are not going around saying, yeah, this girl just finessed me. You know, she finessed me out of dinner. Well, actually, some of you do see, because some of these simps out here is getting played. Egregious. Getting money sent to them, all types of stuff. I mean, sending money to some of these women, all types, fly flying them out, getting played all over the place. So some of them are coming out and starting to speak about it, okay? But even those men are in the minor are in the minority, because most men understand that that is a privilege that women have. That is just the game it's like, it's a, it's a chess game. That's one of the pieces that we got on our side that we can use. Now, also, I want to get into these comments because y'all was really dragging it. Y'all was really dragging it in these comments. Let me let me, let me me look at some of these comments right quick. I'll raise the bridge and everything between. Hold up. The problem is men need to learn how to control themselves. You, we, men can, I mean, you, we, me can wear whatever we want. Niggas don't get the right to dictate our attire. The Stop blaming women for the actions of these tired ass men. Girl. Girl, I we like this is what I'm saying. We are living in this. Some of us are living in this delusion that we can really do as men and get the same outcomes. We're not men. Man can come in a room with his shirt off or with his muscle showing and stuff like that. And yeah, for some, especially the masculinas, you know what I'm saying? That might persuade them. But at the end of the day, as women, we're still that's not something we're going to be your masculinity, the way you the way your demeanor comes off, your way you assert yourself, those are things that we're gonna are, that we are more so gonna be attracted to that might persuade us. But you just coming in with a tank top on, I'm like, why does why you got a damn tank top on? We had a business meeting. All right, whatever. Or why you got this tight ass shirt on? We had a business meeting. Okay, whatever. I'm not that's not something that's gonna persuade me, you know what I'm saying, to do something for you because you just look good. These men harass me in slacks and work clothes, so it really doesn't matter what you wear. Girl, come on. I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Y'all taking it to extremes. Of course, you got some lower vibrational, not sexually disciplined men who will dead ass go after you. I mean, I'd have been out in, you know, hair not looking the best, no makeup on, sweatpants, big shirt on, jacket over top, you know, dang on Crocs or some slippers on, walking to the street, and men try to holler at me. I get it. You know, so there are just some thirsty Negroes out here who just going to be some thirsty Negroes. It is what it is. But that does not represent the majority, okay? Most men who see you dressing respectfully, who see you dressing conservatively, are not going to treat you in that way. and not going to treat you in that manner. So you, you think about even women who are like, who are Muslims, who are, you know, uh, even Christians, who are, you know, who dress conservatively on a daily basis. They, you talk to some of these women, 
they don't have the same problems. They are not getting smacked at by men by just random men and people look, hey, girl, I like that body. They're, they're not getting the same approach from men because most men understand that a woman who's dressing conservative or modest like that, there's a certain tier, there's a certain level of man that she's looking for. There's a certain level of respect that you're going to have to come at her with because that is what she's projecting out into the world. She's showing this is how I respect my own body. So you're going to have to come to me and do the same. A1 cornball. Men not controlling themselves is the issue at hand, not how we dress. She's literally in, the, literally in the presence of a man dressed sexy and telling another woman how to dress among men. Yeah, girl. I, yo, I mean, I just said that, though. It is a little a bit. It's giving a little bit of hypocritical. because You do, you know, it is what it is. You do got that. You got that dress on. Uh, the song was sent, though. So what does clothing have to do? I mean, I, I ain't getting into the details. Uh, girl, you dress accordingly. Victim blaming one on one. Come on, uh, why she gotta cover up because a nigga can't control himself? I'm confused on how that's her problem. No, baby, it's because it's about us. A level of awareness. That's what this comes down to: is you having a level of awareness about yourself, about your own nature, about what you attract, and about the opposite sex's nature, about how to deal with men, how to what outcomes you want in interactions with men. In fact, I use my father. If I know if I want to talk to my father about something, if I want to do something with my father, I already know I'm not going to go around him, even if I don't even want something. It already got to be something I want, even if I'm just going around him. Period. I know I'm not going to wear no tight jeans. I'm not going to wear no short, short shorts. I'm not going to wear no real revealing dress or real body con fitting dress. I'm not going to wear certain things around him because I already know I'm going to hit his mouth. Sister, why you got that on, sister? Your door went to show it, sister. You da -da -da. Like, I already know what I'm going to hear. So it's certain things that I am just know, like, I'm not going to wear that around my father because I know what he's going to say. And that goes the same for even especially in business or even relationships, whatever the case may be. As a woman, you should know that what you're wearing does affect how you're going to interact with that man. If I got some short shorts or a tight skirt or a real tight body dress, whatever the case may be, I know when I go to the club, if I am wearing something like that, when I go to the club, when I do, there's certain interactions I know I'm going to have with men. I know there's certain looks I'm going to have with men. I already know that because of what I have on, especially within the environment. I, you talk about nightclubs and things that age, you already know there's certain interactions you're going to get with men. You're not most likely... To find your man, you'll find your husband in a club with a tight ass body con dress on, twerking in a corner with your friends. Like your husband, okay, is not most likely to be the one to approach you in that area. Or even if it's not your husband, but a certain type of man who's looking for a certain certain type of woman. One, probably not even gonna be in that space, but two, damn sure ain't gonna be looking for his wife in that space. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Um, do you think what she said was outrageous grief everything between was this victim blaming to you? Or do you agree with what the sister said? Do you think, yeah, there's a certain level, a certain way that you should dress if you want certain outcomes from men? You know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that, all that, all that, other than that, baby. That's all I got. All right, y'all. And make sure you got some merch. Don't forget the merch. Don't forget the merch. Link in the bio. Link in the bio. Link in the bio. Link in the description. Link in the description. Link in the description. All right, y'all. We do not play by our green. You fuck with the team. Might find your West in the creek. We're crossing our teams. We don't never miss a beat.